Starting before some players even reach kindergarten, baseball is big in Tom's River, New Jersey. If you don't know about baseball in Tom's River, you don't really know about anything. A team from this shore town once won the Little League World Series. Young athletes eventually funnel into three high schools, north, south, and east, all fielding impressive teams over the years. But the most big wins belong to this high school, by far the oldest in town, famous for its intense spirit and traditions, not only at football games, but at baseball games too. baseball coach Ken Frank has been the man behind the winning spirit here for 40 years. Be ready. Be ready. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night. Using a time-tested combination of his native Jersey City toughness. Nothing I haven't seen before. Let's go. And plenty of encouragement. Good job. It's the way to play baseball. He's New Jersey's winningest baseball coach with more than 800 victories under his belt. Great job. Let's go. You're afraid to hit it. Let's go. This is more than a story about a demanding coach and his talented teams. It's about a tried and true program teaching old fashioned values like respect and loyalty, and that hard work pays off. Proven by this former South player turned major leaguer who still remembers his roots while in stardom inspiring today's players to think big. Todd Frazier is a big influence to all of us here at South that he, a pro athlete, came through this program and he's representing us in a good way in the big leagues. All the guys at South follow him. All, all the students at South follow him. They love seeing what he's doing. He's doing great. And it's just awesome that he came from here, the same place I'm sitting right now. In 2016, the Hitting Indians started the season with as good a chance as any other team to win big. Whether they earn a coveted ball on the wall depends on how much they're willing to give to the game. It's a great feeling, you know, kind of like a breakthrough play that's going to make you stand out, especially with all the alumni that were here. Um, that's something that they're going to pick up on and be like, wow, that kid went the extra step to make that play. And that's what a South player does. Throughout the season, we'll see plays like this suicide squeeze executed to perfection and close calls at home plate. <laughs> Crush the team's dreams in a critical game. It was a tough game. We could have won it. A few mistakes, not enough hitting, but it was a devastating loss. All along, Coach Frank pushing his players to do their best. He preaches a lot of principles, uh, in particular, hustle, hard work, and just leaving it all out on the field. And our teams traditionally, and this year as well, use all those to uh, help in winning. Right here, generations of boys become young men, then return as fathers to watch with pride from the stands while their own sons play ball. I have a son who's a junior in the program playing uh, third base, uh, and it's great to, to see him out there on the same field I was 25 years ago. Uh, brings me a lot of joy to also see him interact with Coach. You know, all these years later is, uh, is a great joy. Come on. We'll hear from alumni who credit their high school coach with teaching them lessons on the field that they still live by today. The principles were to work hard, never accept mediocrity, and it was always about getting better. It was always about being prepared. Uh, and those are, those are principles that carry through in, in other areas of your life. The legacy of one man, a father figure who's had a permanent impact on hundreds of lives. He taught me a lot. He taught me a lot about life, not just the game of baseball. Made me the man I am today. One, two, three, go! South Baseball, the spirit of winning, will premiere at the Grunin Center at Ocean County College Sunday, April 8, 2018 at 2 p.m. For tickets, go to GrunnenCenter.org or visit the Grunin Center ticket office at Ocean County College in Toms River.